Space Beyond, so I'm gonna start now. Hello! Welcome back to Final Fantasy 1 Ness. Uh, I've woken up two of the orbs. I'm halfway there. Probably not. Uh, people are in pretty good standing. People are not dying. Oh, because I got to warp out. I forget about that. God, I'm so glad that I was shown that. Oh, shh, Grimps. Not wasting much of my time on you folks. They can't even hurt Phantasma, that's how bad they are. Huh. That was critical, of course. <laughs> The Grimps and... oh, what's the name of his dog? Because that's basic. that's clearly what the werewolf is. <laughs> so today, uh, we have to go get a vehicle. I, I assume, at least. And we're gonna go back to the wizard who told us to come back to him regularly through the game, and I bet he's gonna give us something new. I'm hoping for a submarine, even though that's probably not in this game. I don't think they'd... I think this early they'd probably not want to break too much with the fantasy that way. Although they they have an airship, I think. Which does break from the fantasy pretty significantly. Oh, I also have tons of gold. The dog is named Max. Okay. So obviously the werewolf is Max. It's funny how rivers contain much more dangerous monsters than the sea. I feel like that's an oversight. <laughs> it is also funny to give you the, like, sea boat first, because definitely later games would invert that and just be like, wait, let's just design a landmass where there's stuff across the rivers for a while, and then we give you a real boat. Let's see if I can remember the route now. Hey, Lem hasn't even got his upgrade, that's apparently the main point of him, and he's actually... He's being decently useful. He's not good in a boss fight, but he'll take out the monsters on the way. I am a bit worried for where the boss fights are going, though, because physical attacks are increasingly not doing it. really funny, streaming at like 8am, even 8am GMT, means that like my chat is just a string of like 15 people auto-hosting me because nobody else is on. <laughs> uh, you move on. I'm sure these people can clean up the Hydra. Lem, you better not die, you know. I... What did I just say? <laughs> I was like when something gets killed by like a sliver of damage. How's Lem doing levels-wise, actually? I can't remember if he's... If he's... T trailing massively anymore. 
Cure 3 to 70 health. That's so little. Okay, so he's like... He's like behind... While everyone else is... Well, uh, hell is ahead, basically. <laughs> That'd be really good, because then there'd be a block of me stream, you st er, you stream, me stream, then Gratomero when he gets back to streaming. Because <laughs> when I, oops, when I first started doing this, it was basically just like, oh, I'll just stream before I go to work, which is effectively Gratomero's slot. Effectively er, right before Gratomero's slot. Uh, I'll show up the axe. It was like. It was a slightly slow, lower hit rate but higher damage than the sword I had before. You might have insight. I think I've suspected for a long while that different weapons actually have different effects besides just damage and hit percentage, but damage and hit percentage is the only stuff I can easily check. So I've mostly been picking weapons on that basis. Same with armor. I've just looked at the evasion and absorb. It's definitely an axe I got recently, though. Probably from the fire cave or the earth one, maybe. Because I haven't been anywhere else recently. Uh, it's the silver axe. Which, honestly, yeah. When I picked up something called a Silver Axe, I was like, that probably isn't going to be any good. I've stopped using Silver... Well, I've gotten a lot of Silver stuff ages ago. But I mean, it did have more damage, so I went for it. Yeah, so I want to go to the inn, obviously. Now to go get a spell. Uh, no, that's the reviving place. Right, I get you. Like, you don't need to be energetic to stream, but streaming for you was tiring, so it just left you tired afterwards. That makes sense. So quite magic. Soft exit. Oh, but I wasn't allowed to learn this, was I? Yeah. So I'm kind of holding off for whenever I get to learn that. I guess quake. Okay. Um. Now I'm gonna have to blast through buying tons of potions. I should maybe sell off some stuff. I kind of, well, I'll get rid of the Great Axe, but I want to keep those swords, just in case. Yeah, the swords are worth more than the Axe, so I don't get why it's seemingly at least better. And the Power Staff is worth so much money for something that isn't actually particularly effective. I mean, it's good for Phantasma, but it's not a very good weapon. Oh, you just have silver stuff. I think I already have a full setup. Yeah, how is a full set of all this stuff? Buckler, though. He had something called a buckler, which I've never gotten anywhere. That might be something uh, Lem can wear. It's okay. I know I can sell Phantasmo Fair and Lem stuff anyway. You can sell this. Pharaoh, you can sell this. And Lem. So, this and the Iron Shield. Okay, now. Buy a buckler for Lem. 
Because that's the only thing I've never had. And I... I should really check the armor shops more often for reasons like this. Yes! Okay, now let's see if anyone else can equip this. Sorry, my cursor... Okay. My cursor goes funny sometimes in the equip thing, so... I might make silly, like, decisions because I can't actually see what it's doing. Alright, what's Lem's status like now? I mean, not great. Seven Absorb is... Oh, okay. No, that is more than Pharaoh. It's less than Phantasmo. I should really get... I should go buy some of that silver... Whatever that is. For Pharaoh as well as Phantasmo. And get gloves. I'm pretty sure everyone can wear the gloves. That's for a future day, though. I've got cabins and houses, so I honestly just want to load up on healing potions, so I'm just going to do this while I read chat. Uh, sorry I had to remove the music, but this is a bit faster for me mashing the A button over and over again. <clears throat> yeah, I, I can I can, uh, I can, can watch the tail end of it while I'm getting up and getting ready before my stream anyway, because that's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm getting up now. Uh, do, do, do. And the loss in accuracy, I, I did wonder that a bit, but it is literally, I think, actually 2, maybe 3% lost accuracy. Which would have been a bigger deal to me, except that the discrete hits are kind of already variable anyway, so it doesn't feel like I'm constantly losing a whole hit because of it. That's true, yeah, the, the music getting interrupted is much more of a pain than not getting to hear it while I'm doing this. <laughs> I hope I'm close. 60. So, yeah, I'm effectively spending... Oh, there we go. I was effectively spending like 6,000 gold there. But probably a bit less than that, because I did have some left over. They never really do explain what the fire... Or what the problem that's causing, really? They say the Earth was going terrible. And then they just said, oh, so now, th now go to a volcano. Because also, that fiend was asleep when I... They said I woke them. Wait. Oh no, he's not giving me anything new. Oh, these do actually- oh, yeah, yeah. So, you're not gonna give me anything? Well, you, I mean. So I just have to go find a new place, I guess. I mean, I didn't look very far last time. I just stumbled onto it. I think Final Fantasy II still has the multi-hit system. Uh, but definitely, definitely don't think 3 had it. I think by that point they realized it was very powerful. Oh right, I need to go back to Elfland now, because that's where I left my boat.
See, I think... I think it would make sense uh, if they had just, like... I think the theory of the idea makes sense. They just don't balance it very well. So, because having accuracy be a thing that actually leads to more damage and not just hit or miss, I like a lot. I think that makes a lot of sense. And also makes it feel like it's very useful. Plus, it gives a fighter who has literally no abilities except attack, it gives them something useful to do later in the game. It doesn't make them make it feel like they're just going to become obsolete as the wizards get really good spells. Or the mages, I mean. But the problem is, they make the mages very ineffective because you have such a limited magic and it's not... Magic, when you blast it out, should be really powerful, but it's not. It's like... It can be very powerful, but it's not inherently powerful. And I think that's a mistake, and that's the real reason that it's messed up. Though, yes, I agree that, as well, they probably scale up the hits too quickly. Because Hell is immediately outpacing everybody, because she's getting... She was getting two hits. Probably before I even went to the first real dungeon. Fantasm was the only one who got hit in there. And yeah, the thing about getting 8 attacks in Final Fantasy VI is a completely different matter, because it, like, it requires you to spend, like, uh, an equipment slot doing that. You don't just get it by the nature of how good your character is at things. It's like a choice you make that's like, this is what I think is worth me spending something on. See, I've just seen Radamero play through a bunch of Final Fantasy VI and get a bunch of equipment like that, and I really forget a lot of it, or a lot of how hard parts of it were. Uh, I forget which one Lem was attacking. Oh, I think Lem was attacking the bottom one, because I probably just did that. Lazy. Up. Up. Uh, I have no idea, because also when the version of Gatamaro was playing was a different translation to the one I've played in the past, so some of the names were confusing me. There we go, that was probably the one Lem was on then. I have to think about it. I can't... Hmm. I can definitely remember seeing a lot of rivers, but I don't remember seeing anywhere where rivers led to something important. So I think this will be a bit of a meandering search. I was really hoping for a new vehicle, <laughs> but I guess that's a bit much to ask for a vehicle after every orb. I should have had a submarine. That's a weird thing to name one of your relic thingies in Final Fantasy VI. Ooh, level 18! Does he have, how many level 6 spell slots does he have now? Oh, two. <laughs> I guess that increased other levels. I really should probably not only care about the highest level ones, because they really don't go up every level. But it's still just the thing I immediately check.
the other thing, actually, going back to our discussion about the, like, multi-hit mechanic, I think it's a weird mistake that you're... My suspicion is that it's calculating whether or not you get a critical hit for every one of those attacks. Because... When I use an ability to give Hella extra speed to make her get more attacks in, she almost always crits. Like, when she's getting six or seven attacks, she was hitting criticals most of the time. Which just leads me to believe that it is calculating your critical for every individual hit. If you haven't seen Gradomero's ending setup, he just like, he did, he like gathered all of the best stuff from, I don't need to go to the 10, what am I doing? He gathered up a bunch of like the best stuff he could in the whole game to give people, and then just trashed the final boss because he didn't realize it was like, that the uh, Kefka is actually just quite a, hand quite a handily beatable final boss. <clears throat> okay, so that's... Yeah, I want to go west of here at least. What does this lead to? I think this just leads to... where I find Astos. Which is probably still just empty. Let me check. Yeah. It is ha oh that may be relevant. I can dock at rivers as you just Where's my boat? Yeah. <clears throat> I think an issue with the later games is they tuned it out so you didn't have to do dedicated grinding and farming, but that that as a side effect means doing side quests over levels you for the end of the game. Like, I played Final Fantasy VII uh, years after my first time playing it, and like, I wasn't following guide or anything to get everything, but I did like a bunch of the side content, and then when I got to the final boss it was trivial. <clears throat> and I know they sort of tried to fix it in 8, but I don't think it really worked there. I don't know if it really worked there either. I don't know if I actually finished Final Fantasy. Oh, no. I did like the end of Final Fantasy VIII because they like did a thing where you had to go fight bosses to even get your abilities back. I actually like that a lot because I think that's a good way to that's a good way to make the ending challenging and make it so that it's as challenging as you want it to be. You could decide not to bother getting your attack action. Okay, there's my vote. What are you even doing, trying to face me alone, Kyozoku? Well, he's not, then. <laughs> yeah, I think adding the optional bosses like the weapons helps the kind of final boss being boring, but the thing is... Huh, I got experience for that. But the thing about, uh... The thing about the optional bosses, given that they're optional, I never feel like I want to go through the full challenge of fighting them, which is kind of silly that I'm disappointed about the lack of challenge, but then I'm just going to not engage with the challenge they do offer. Good morning, Adamero. We are searching for something to do, because I did not get a new vehicle from the wizards. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not a big fan of Final Fantasy VIII, because it's just a literal incoherent mess of... Like, there's no consistency, there's no consistent coherence to it. But in retrospect, that's probably true of many of the Final Fantasies, so I'm probably a bit too harsh on it. <laughs> but 
those wizards are, I mean, to be fair, I was expecting wizards who already, who had already given me a fancy nice vehicle to just give me another fancy nice vehicle, so... Well, I assume the canoe is fancy. Based on the, like, 14 pixels I can see. Any semblance of a river. I would argue that Final Fantasy VIII is a bizarre mess from Disc 2, <laughs> considering what happens. Like, you wake up and there's a weird, like, uh, up until then it's been kind of, well, I don't know. See, that's the thing. I was going to say there's a weird creature thing that wakes you while you're being tortured. But then, admittedly, there's just weird creatures in all these games, even the ones that are more serious and more, like, techie based Like I said, yeah, my overall sense was that it was a mess for a lot of the game, but in, yes, admittedly looking back, I don't know, I don't know how I'd say that and not think the same of, like, other Final Fantasies. I mean, this isn't really a mess, but it's just very basic. But when you get to, like, four, definitely, four is definitely, like, more grounded for a lot of it, but then also a mess in like just weird aesthetic, <laughs> weird aesthetic and tone choices. Okay, here we go. This is the big landmass I have not really discovered at all. Or, well, I've seen it. That all, it might also be true. And it's... Huh, that's actually an interesting thought, because part of what I would have said was my criticism of Final Fantasy VIII is that it tries to be... It does still try to be quite serious, and then the cartoonishness is just very blatant. So maybe the fact that it also looks relatively realistic kind of pushes that further. Right? It's just kind of like, you think this is... like, serious drama, but it just doesn't make any sense. And there are also just literal significant plot holes in that game that are not explained in a way that doesn't happen in 7. So I feel like I'm comparing it most to 7, because 7 is also like quite grounded, serious thing with a lot of goof, and it's pretty all over the place. But I feel like 7 actually makes sense, whereas 8 does not. Uh, we'll just wait like three years, Gratomero, and then I'll have played 
Final Fantasy VIII for you. Three years might even be a bit optimistic. One thing I'm nervous about- whoops. One thing I'm nervous about for this upcoming dungeon is I think monsters are gonna be using magic. Because they started that in the volcano. See, I remember a lot of it because I remember, like, just offhandedly saying how terrible the story was and having to defend that to people who, like, really liked the game just because they liked it. Because... The story is terrible not in the way of it's 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 like it's an entertaining story for people who enjoy it and it's got like fun weird moments and goofs and such. But if you're to try and like figure out what the story is, what it's about and what the point of it is, it's a total mess. So I had to actually like I had to remember a lot of it, look it up and double check things to explain that. Spaceship stealth sequence. Yeah, that game goes to space. That's I mean, Final Fantasy VII almost goes to space. Uh, six doesn't at all. Five goes to space. Four, I'm pretty sure, also goes to space. You'd be more, more Final Fantasies than you'd expect go end up in space. Dang it. I am not sure this is going to take me anywhere. I think I need airship to land on that sand. <coughs> oh yeah. <coughs> I will definitely say, I'm not claiming that these things are bad and you should hate them. I just think as in... The reason I did not enjoy it was that a lot of it just felt bad in a way that I couldn't just ignore. That may end up being what my playthrough is. A Mystery Science Theater. I've not ever I've never actually watched Mystery Science Theater, so this is a, this is probably a bold claim. But my what my playthrough will probably be like mildly dunking on it, or at least just kinda of going like this is just weird. And pointing out all the stuff that I have a problem with. Because I feel like, not because I feel like I need to make a thesis statement on the game, but just because that's what I feel like will be a thing I can converse about while I play it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm looking forward to the, like, Final Fantasy IV onwards, where there's more story for me to actually comment on as opposed to just this. Oh. I mean, this, I mean, the game in general, not the fight. Because obviously it's gonna be fights, but it just repeat, repetitive throughout the whole series. See, well, the other thing is, I mean, I... I actually do find myself kind of going, oh, this is actually really cool, or this game does this thing, or like, oh, the art in this is actually really quite good, I like it a lot, or the music was already good for the first game. Like, I have been trying to point out the things that I'm kind of like, oh, this is good. Because, yes, I don't want to just be like, this old game is so bad, oh, why are the fights so hard? I think the way to do that is just to, like, not be silent about the things you like, because even if you don't have incredibly insightful things to say about it, you can just be like, oh, this is good. Because it is, like, important design lessons come from, like, noticing what is you could do better, but also just kind of taking stock of, like, this is a good thing, that's worth, that's worth knowing. At least I think so. Hello, Lord of... Lord of War. People have great names on this site. Uh, 
but yeah, like, in general, I like the Final Fantasy formula, so I feel like I'm always going to like something about the games, even if I'm going to gripe about it, or like, kind of complain about how silly parts of it are. Like, I'm legitimately enjoying this game a lot, and I honestly kind of thought it would be a bit more of a slog. Ori in particular, I've heard though, has like, has like niggles that kind of interrupt you a lot and actually make the game harder than it should be. If I'm, if I'm understanding other people's criticism correctly, I have not played it. I think you're overall positive on Final Fantasy VI. I don't, like, honestly, I was there very often, but I feel like I still missed most of your playthrough, because I think I really only started watching in earnest near the end. Oh, well, no, actually, I don't think that's true, but I think what happened was you spent so long in kind of, oops, in the end game, preparing for the end of it. So I was like, that, that was most of what I saw, so it felt like I was only there near the end of the game. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's also really good, actually, to, like, stream something in Early Access and be able to, like, submit a report and then even just refer back to a video and be like, yeah, this, this is either the thing that happened or this is why it was bothering me. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to fix the balance curve for mages in Final Fantasy 1. Actually, that's a lie. I bet some people are doing that, exactly that. Okay, hello. Is this just... Yeah, this is just this wizard town. I was like, oh, hello, have I found something new? No. <laughs> because actually... Now that I say that, I realize that's an exact thing I've done. Uh, I streamed games for, uh, was it, I streamed playing, like, Wizard Jam, uh, Jam games from this jam called Wizard Jam. Too many jams. So when I, like, when I played them and I posted some people's threads about, like, oh, this thing, or this is great, or this I had a problem with, I could literally point to my video and be like, you can see it in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I bet there's... I bet people have done all sorts of balance shifts to this game. I can see even the, the emulator I'm using has built-in stuff of like, oh, you can just make everyone fighters. Yeah, that's the, that's the kind of silly thing. I think Black Magic is too, too weak as it is, but I think the weakness is that it should be stronger, not that they should make it easier to cast. Is at the very least, early magic is actually quite not useful. Whereas... Like, like the once I get to, le to the Lightning 2, Fire 2, Ice 2, they're pretty useful in that they can target everything, but they're also still not very effective on bosses, even bosses that are weak to the magic I'm using. Hela is still doing more damage as a fighter. Which is backwards, because Hela does that damage for free. She can just keep doing it. Whereas the mages have like a limited resource and it's just not it's just not dealing serious damage. Okay, so I think I'm back at the underside of Elfland. I only know it's called Elfland because like an NPC said it offhandedly, but I didn't think it was the name until I had to look up a, a guide to find out where to find a soft. And then they were like, oh just go to Elfland. I'm like Okay. In the interest of not wasting tons of time, uh, if I don't find where to go, I will probably just look up. I will probably just look up a guide off stream so that I know for tomorrow for certain. So I can only do like another 
ten minutes tops. Before I have to go to work. Oh, that's the thing. I am certain that Final Fantasy 1, 2, and 3 have had systems completely redone in their remakes because they're just completely different games. And that's why I wanted that's why this is the NES emulated version, and I'm gonna do the same with Final Fantasy 2 and 3 because I wanna play the first the first version of this that they put out, not not the updated one where they were like, oh wait, uh, let's make this like our other games. And as well, like, <clears throat> I'm liking this more because it's not the same formula. <clears throat> I'm enjoying this more because of the weirdness with magic that I have to manage. That's like a new concern compared to just, oh, I have MP. Ethers are pretty rare, but I have MP. <laughs> yes, I'm playing on a CRT that takes up my entire desk. so open in this game that legitimately, I think, confuses me and makes me, like, double back more than I really should. Yeah, so that's... that's Astos' whole deal. That's... that's the time that leads to... I wanna say... Dwarf Cave? No. Because Dwarf Cave is to my west. What was that time before? Whatever is before the wizard circle area. To the earth place, maybe? Maybe that did lead to the earth place. I don't know if I... Hmm. Well, actually, I should say make this clear. I don't know if I've properly played on CRTs because I... I can't remember this because at this point I can't remember what an actual CRT is. If it's just because I always just think of it as like, oh, it's older TVs, but ne I've never properly made the distinction in my head of whether that's oh, is that like TVs that I had when growing up, or am I mixing it up with some other form of TV? <laughs> that would be really that would be really funny. The only problem with doing that is that wouldn't that wouldn't show up on, like, you couldn't record that or stream that without having, like, a camera pointed at your screen, which is a shame. Okay, what's... no, so there's no rivers. The monitor would have outputs. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> that's funny as well, because then you'd effectively... You'd probably have to use a capture card then, wouldn't you? Like, yeah, it wouldn't get the screen curvature. It would not be a 100% one-to-one experience. Would it... Hmm, would it be the same signal? What a weird experiment. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Following this landmass around. Nothing. Oh yeah. Because that was where the giant ate the ruby, and then I got to the earth cave where they just gave me a thing and said go back into the earth cave.
sorry, yes. Right now, I've... I've uh, lit up the earth orb and the fire orb, and I'm trying to find out where to go for the water orb. Because the wizards did not give me any new information or vehicles, so I'm looking for somewhere that I can sail through a river to get somewhere. I'm now suspicious that maybe there was more ways to go back near the wizard town, and I just didn't notice. I do remember seeing a pat- maybe I should just go back and explore there more. It'd be really weird to just put two of the- two of the caves in the one spot, but I could believe they'd do that. I feel like I'm getting in con yeah, I'm gonna super speed- I feel like I'm getting in constant fights right now. I'm probably not, it's just because I've been in the sea so long that all I'm doing is fighting for ages, looking for places to go. They may have been sages, I just thought of them as a wizard circle because... Maybe a sages circle is also a thing, but a wizard circle is a thing I have heard of being a thing. <laughs> that stone they were trying to do. Yeah, and then they're just holding out on me, not giving me canoes until I, like, one quarter saved the world. Oh no! I need to turn off the auto mod for Twitch. I don't think it's actually helping. Because I thought for a while it was just Nightbot being bad, but Nightbot has not complained about anyone in a long time, and yet people are still getting automated. Well, now I'm just back to the start of the game. So, okay, so if I go around... If I go around... If I get to the castle... Oh wait, will I? Don't know if I actually will. I don't think the I don't think the sea will carry me through all there. Oh, <laughs> I I'm guessing circle jerk or some variation of that is banned. I can see why. Uh, it's just I don't think that I have not had any problems, and I don't think it's because of the automatic. I don't understand. Yeah, okay, I don't need to go there. Just, yeah, I've definitely been in that sandy spot. Oh, now I know why there's just a random desert there. It's probably for airships. I'm for auto modding. Uh, but like... It's- I thought my chat program would show me when that stuff was happening, so I could at least respond to it myself. But apparently it's just silently happening, and my chat program doesn't make any log of it. I am also pro-memeing. So I'm afraid you'll have to be banned, Radomero. Please leave.
just responded to the message. I think I'm entirely going the wrong way for where I want to go, even. Yep. No through C. I'll at least explore around this landmass, because maybe there's something. Oh, wait, what's this place? I don't know if I've ever been here. Because then I don't know if I could have gone here before. I'm just gonna... Oh, okay, no, I obviously haven't been here. That's... Or have I? Is that a new town, or is that the town where I got my boat? Alright. Uh, sure. Uh, what are you linking to? Oh, Automat I don't think Automat blocks links. I think that was Nightbot that used to do that. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at that post stream, but alright. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, I stream regularly at this time during weekdays, so you'll see me again tomorrow, if you're around, that is. Uh, good night, and thank you for coming. I I'm honestly not doing much more either, I'm just kind of... I'm clicking on for a few more minutes, hoping I bump into something to do for tomorrow. But as I said, if I find nothing even by the end of the stream, I'll just look it up for next week, because I don't want to make people watch me wander aimlessly forever. I think I already f sailed around this thing. I'm just gonna do this. Ah, sorry. Emulator got minimized. What? Oh, oh! What is this? I don't know where I am, but I accidentally stumbled upon a thing that maybe means nothing, but possibly means everything. I know this is a very inefficient way to fight, but I just need to finish this. And then my game minimizes again. Oh, is this just back to Elfland? I think this is back to Elfland. What? Oh my god. I need to listen to that clip <laughs> now. He's the EA Sports guy? Okay, I'm... If this is... I'm gonna listen to this clip on stream. I just want to first... Oh, I probably shouldn't be fighting Hydras like this. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it. But oh, I need to I need to see this now. Um you know what, I'm gonna like I'm gonna stop here because even if they're somewhere up north, I'll look up a guide to make sure that's true and then we can go discover it tomorrow. Okay. That would have been funny. <laughs> that would have been amazing to just have EA Sports Guy appear on my channel. Uh, yes, I, I need to go now. I will look up real places to go, and then tomorrow uh, tomorrow I will have an actual direction in life. And I'll hopefully see you all again then. Uh, goodbye.